everyone, it's Heather here at Lars and we are talking about one of my favorite little birds today, cockatiels. If you guys are interested in learning more, definitely stay tuned and remember to hit that subscribe button. So today I have my little friend Sunshine here with me and uh, Sunshine is a male cockatiel. Now you can see Sunshine has some very awesome colors. So I want to tell you a little ooh, big stretch. So I want to tell you a little bit of a story about Sunshine. Um, first of all, you guys might have noticed when Sunshine just stretched out his wing that uh, he has a damaged wing in there. It, hurts right now. He does not want me to touch it, um, but we're not noticing uh, any signs of infection or anything. Let me, oh, 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 yeah. Okay, cockatiels like to think that they are big birds in little birds' bodies, and um, I will tell you the quickest way to train a cockatiel is by letting it bite you. You gonna bite me? Bite, bite. No, do we want this scritchy? This guy is super duper friendly. So part of the reason why we can tell that Sunshine is a boy is because of these really bright yellow cheeks here. Now, some of the different color patterns in cockatiels, it can be really hard to tell. If you come across a cockatiel that is gray and white and does not have any sort of orange color to their cheeks, you're gonna have to do a DNA test in order to figure out if it's male or female. Um, otherwise, many of them have this tell. So the girls, they actually tend to have cheeks that are not as bright colored, but um, just like our little friend here, those are really, really nice bright colors. So um, Sunshine is a more recent surrender to the rescue. Uh, this person had quite a few birds and just couldn't take care of them anymore. And so uh, we took Sunshine in. So little bit of a story on what we do here uh, when we get new birds in. First of all, we have an aviary and we house all of our budgies and cockatiels together. Both of those species of birds get along really, really well. And so it's very easy to keep them in the same, <laughs> in the same space. Um, yeah, you just have little feathers that are kind of coming off here. Um, so what we do when we introduce birds to the aviary is we monitor them constantly. So several times a day, we're looking in there, especially when we're introducing a new bird, we're looking for any signs of distress, anything that could be going on that would indicate that they're not doing well in our aviary environment. And because this little guy, I'm going to kind of show you here, okay, so he if he cooperates. Oh, big stretch. I think you guys can probably see. The one wing, um, he has all of his flight feathers and on the other wing, he doesn't have any flight feathers. So he was not doing well in the aviary. Um, he wasn't really taking to the pellets right away. And uh, I actually went downstairs and found him um, at the bottom of the aviary. And he was kind of lethargic and kind of puffed up and I knew that we needed to get him out of the aviary. Some birds do well right away, some birds do not. And he happened to be one of the very, very few birds that did not do well in the aviary. So, so I got him out. Um, I did put him back on seed um, just to get him eating and uh, he is in his own um, big cage right now at the rescue. Um, he actually is super duper nice and I didn't realize it until I kind of got him out of the aviary and kind of started working with him one on one. So um, you guys may have seen with him shaking his feathers before. These guys are really dusty birds. So this is why when we have our bird application, we ask the question if anyone in the household has any dust allergies because these guys are super duper dusty. Did you, I'm sorry, did you want to say something? Yeah? You can tell me what it's all about. Yeah, oh, more scritchies. 
It's squishy time. Can I have a kissy? Oh, no kiss. I just got rejected. These guys can be super duper nice pets. Um, they can be super interactive and just like my little friend here, they can step up on you and you can really spend time with them. Um, but not all of them are like that. A lot of times we get cockatiels and they come to us and they are not very social. So they do require a lot of work. Um, you can train a cockatiel as well. So you can use a little uh, training treats like a little piece of millet or something like that and that will actually help you to train your cockatiel but uh, they're super smart and these guys are actually part of the cockatoo family so again really big birds in a really really small little body now we don't have an exact age for our little friend here but i can tell you that if cockatiels are taken care of correctly in captivity they can live for up to 35 years. Now, the oldest one that we've heard about is about 28 years old, but uh, they do have the potential to be very, very long-lived birds. So if you think you're gonna get a cockatiel and have it for five to eight years, uh, just be prepared that you're probably gonna have that bird for quite a bit longer. The fun thing about the males of this species is that they can actually learn to whistle and they can whistle little tunes. They can do the wolf whistle or the cat call whistle or sometimes they just whistle like my little friend is whistling right now. More of a tweet, right? Are you tweeting? Can I step up? Can I step up? This little guy does this thing when I ask him to step up and he puts his head down instead because he just wants to stay where he is and he would rather have some scritchies. Some of these guys even learn how to say phrases. So they will say things like pretty bird. They might say their name. These guys are super duper intelligent. For little itty bitty tiny birds, they should definitely not be underestimated. Can I step up? Can I step up? Oh, what a good bird. What a good bird. Yes. So you guys see what we just did there. I actually had him step up and I don't actually have any training rewards with me right now. But when I had him step up from one hand to the other, I made sure to make a really big deal out of it. So no matter if you're dealing with a very tiny bird like a cockatiel or you're dealing with a bigger bird like a macaw or an Amazon or a cockatoo, you know, you want to make sure to make a really big deal of the really, really awesome things that they do so that they know that they're doing a good job, even if you don't have a training reward with you. This little guy loves his chin scritchies as well. Don't <laughs> you stick in your whole head in my fingers. Yeah, you're so silly. You're so silly. Just like with any other bird out there, when you're touching your cockatiel, you're only going to want to touch on the head because it sends mixed signals if you are touching anywhere other than the head. So a lot of people see these guys and they're super tame like our little friend Sunshine, but uh, they pet them on their back or, uh, you know, they're handling them regularly like on their front, they're doing tickles or anything like that. That can send the wrong signals and during hormonal season, you're gonna have a problem with your bird thinking that you are its mate and you can be mates, but you can't be mates. So what we're gonna do with this guy because I did put him back on a seed diet, we do wanna transition him over to pellets, but it's going to be a much longer transition to get him over and get him eating the pellets like he needs to. Now, little birds like this, if you're giving them plenty of room to kind of fly around, um, they do uh, need some seed in their diet, but feeding an all seed diet is really, really bad for captive birds, even little guys like this, because again, it's gonna lead to those liver problems, um, probably lead to heart problems, possibly kidney as well. You just wanna make sure that you're providing the absolute best for these guys. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you have any questions about cockatiels or any of the other animals that we take care of at the rescue, don't hesitate to reach out to us either by our Facebook page or you can send us an email. And as always, I hope you guys have a super great day.